are now officially crossing into the Florida Keys. Welcome to the Florida Keys. We're gonna be spending the next couple days in the Florida Keys working with Visit Florida Keys Tourism Board. We're super excited to be here. The weather is beautiful and warm and tropical and the Overseas Highway is one of the greatest drives in the US. We've already made our way down a little bit into the Keys. We're on Plantation Key right now, but we're about to have lunch at this place that we saw on a blog that was recommended called Mile Marker 88. It looks like a little tiki bar that's right on the beach and we're both pretty hungry for lunch. So. I love tiki bars. Let's head in. When uh, Kevin was looking for a place to eat, he said, if I know you, you want to eat by the water. And he nailed it, I think. This place is awesome. It's right on the water, palm trees, sand. This is like a quintessential Keys restaurant. When you think Keys, I would think of this place. Our food has just arrived, and of course we both got tuna because we're at the ocean. We took some photos at this dock over here, because to me that looks just like Florida Keys, like when you think of Florida Keys. It's quite warm, as you could imagine, so we're a little bit sweaty. So we're gonna get back in the air conditioner and then drive about five minutes down the road to get some key lime pie. backtracked a little bit to the blonde giraffe key lime pie factory now we're not saying that this is the best key lime pie in the keys but we heard online it was good so you just say key lime pie and you're like oh yeah but you don't think that like the limes actually come from the keys so this is the place to get it if any and then we will make our way to our resort he's giving me pie and a resort today ladies and gentlemen <laughs> and so beachfront dining i'm i'm happy <laughs> Smells really good in here. Just out behind the blonde giraffe is a really nice little garden that you can come and sit if you want to enjoy your pie here. We got some iced coffees and they gave us some little key lime cookies to go with it. We ended up going for the key lime pie with a chocolate drizzle and whipped cream. Same. It is good. It is very good. I love citrus desserts. Mmm. Anything tart is my favorite. Lemon, lime, raspberry. Can I have them? Nope. This highway runs 113 miles all the way to Key West at the very end of the Keys. Originally, it was constructed as a railroad, which ran from 1912 to 1935, when portions of it were destroyed due to a hurricane. A couple of years later, they outfitted it to be more adept for cars, and it's been transporting people all along the Keys ever since. It's pretty amazing to see how they created a road with such little land. There's all these crazy big bridges that connect all the little islands and most of the islands are only a couple feet wide off the edge of the road. It's quite an engineering feat when you really think about it. They actually let us in guys. We just pulled into the Isla Bella Resort. This place looks pretty fancy. I'm excited, and I know she is. This is the Isla Bella Beach Resort on Marathon, and I'm just a little excited to stay here for the next two nights because we left our car there, and the ocean is literally like maybe 30 feet that way.
Okay, we've checked in. We have not seen our room yet. But we're gonna hopefully try to get some bikes to do a little sunset ride tonight, but it closes soon, so we have to kind of rush. The resort is right on the ocean here. It's awesome. And you gotta love a place that gives you Prosecco when you check in. That is like the pinnacle of life for me is when someone gives <laughs> me a glass of bubbly for free. <laughs> I can't wait to see our room. I'm super excited. Yeah, the property looks really nice. Five pools, restaurant, beach bar. I mean, what more could you ask for? I'm gonna find our room. I'm always excited to do this. We've got these little cool wristbands that are also our room keys. Oh, they're beautiful. Wow, it's so nice. Very white and there's just like foyer right here. Cool, I like it so far. Wow, check this place out, huh? Now let's give you a little tour. Nice big closet on this side. Iron, ironing board, all your standard stuff. Very nice bathroom over here. Nice and white, clean, beautiful. Deep soaking tub, giant shower with rainfall shower head, molten brown amenities. This is a very nice bathroom. I love this carpet, by the way. And a very nicely sized room, a beautiful entertainment center, very nicely furnished. Kind of a cool Caribbean Keys vibe. Nice big TV. Under here we have our coffee setup, wine opener, very important. Safe under that. Little refrigerator, that's our wine. <laughs> <laughs> waters, got a couple waters and ice bucket over here. We got a little fruit and cheese welcome plate, very nice. We'll have to munch on that later. Beautiful desk area where we'll be getting lots of our work done. <laughs> Beautiful king size bed. I'm loving the furnishings. It's very bright, clean, giant silver lamps, which oddly work. <laughs> I really like this fabric. It's very cool. It's blue palm situation. I like it a lot. And the best part. <laughs> nice big veranda. Lots of seating. Even though I think this room only takes two people, you can fit like six out here. And... Included with your stay here at Isla Bella Resort are the use of their bicycles. You can use them in two hour increments as many times a day as you want throughout your entire stay. Normally they rent from like eight in the morning to about 6 p.m. at night. We were able to get these bikes for a quick little ride out to the famous Seven Mile Bridge bike path, which is right next to here. We're gonna go out for sunset. It should be very nice and we should be very sweaty by the time we get there. It's very humid. <laughs> you just gotta roll with it when you're in Florida, you know what I'm saying? We're attempting to get to the old Seven Mile Bridge, which is right next to the new Seven Mile Bridge. It just underwent a renovation that started in 2017. The old bridge is open to bicyclists and pedestrians as the new bridge is for the cars. And the old bridge reopened after its restoration just earlier this year, I think in uh, January of 2022. So we're gonna bike, hopefully see a little bit of sunset action and uh, hopefully not die. Which, you know, me on a bike, you never know. <laughs> how sweaty we are. I care how sweaty you are. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm a master videographer. Late 
to do this so I was thinking maybe I didn't want to do it but I'm really glad we did because this is gorgeous and if you're near the seven mile bridge I highly recommend walking or taking a bike out here because uh, sunset is really nice oh it's gorgeous yeah this is awesome I'm super happy we did this yeah me too We came back and obviously freshened up a little bit and now we're gonna go to dinner. Actually, there's this place that's within walking distance called the Sunset Grill, which is supposed to be pretty good. And we're gonna go eat some probably seafood. We are just at the base of the Seven Mile Bridge at this restaurant called the Sunset Grill, which I guess the song was written about down at the Sunset Grill. This restaurant has a pool that you can swim in. I've never seen that at a restaurant before. But we're going pretty heavy on the seafood again today. We've got some conch, is it conch or conch? I don't know. I don't know. These fritters, which are really good. We've had these before and a crab soup. It's good. It's a chowder. It's kind of sweet. Crab chowder, I guess. So this is conch or conch. I don't know exactly how to say it, but this is a um, very popular food in the Keys. You'll see it everywhere. But these are like the fritters, which I think is the, probably the best way to eat them kind of deep fried and battered. Mm. They're like breaded crab cakes almost. This one's really good. I've had a couple of different ones of these and I don't really like them all that much, but this, these are really tasty. Fish, fish, and more fish. We got some Cajun redfish, New Orleans style. It's got some shrimp and some black beans and rice. And we're also splitting a bottle of bubbly. Is that an explanation for my behavior? <laughs> I'm just weird naturally. <laughs> Dinner was delicious and we were totally stuffed, but our server brought us a free key lime pie. So there's always room for free key lime pie. Our second of the day. I know, right? <laughs> On this trip, I told myself like, I'll get key lime pie once, you know, and this is our second of today, so. On oh, our not... first day. <laughs> On our first day. Oh, it's nice and cold too. Now it could be, the wine talking, but I think this is better than the first piece. What? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's the wine talking. <laughs> I think that's gonna be it for this video, but be sure to hit that subscribe button because we have some really awesome stuff coming up in the Florida Keys in the next few videos. It's definitely going to be an adventure over the next few days. We're not exactly sure what's going to happen. There is a tropical storm warning, which might turn into a hurricane, so fingers crossed it doesn't get too wild. This is Kelly and Kevin from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. So there is a tropical storm that is in the Caribbean right now. Hurricane. It's labeled a hurricane now. Uh -oh. We're starting to catch the very, very, very outer edge of Hurricane Ian. And it already looks pretty intense. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, cool transition. Okay, that was well. Wow. Hey guys! <laughs> and I drew a genie song in the background. <laughs> what did she do? Hi! Hi, hello, hello. Good. Your kickstand is down, my, my bud. Yeah. Oh, a rainbow! Pretty! So easily distracted. Hello.